<laughs> How's it going, guys? I've got a very intriguing uh, start of this episode. I'm actually uh, gonna evolve three Pokémon now. I did a lot of off-screen training. Well, basically, I changed the game so that I could battle a lot of Chansies, because they do give a lot of XP. They're basically like the Ordinos of this generation. And now my Gibite is on the brink of evolving, my Dino is on the brink of evolving, and my Ponyard is on the, is on the brink of evolving as well. Uh, but, well, all three of them actually kind of suck, although Gabite doesn't really suck that much, but yeah, the other ones really do suck. Uh, this guy still has some, some physical attack going for him, but that's about it. I mean, just look at motherfucking Dino. <laughs> Who would want to play with this guy up to level 50 legitimately? And then this guy's actually kind of a disappointment as well, but he's gonna evolve, so perhaps that's gonna change now. Uh, let's get started. Uh, yeah, then I'm gonna, then I'm obviously gonna go back to the town where I need to get the 8th gym badge. If you don't agree with my decision to do off-screen training and evolve some of my Pokémon, uh, I decided to do this for two reasons. One reason being, well, obviously, uh... I, well, obviously this is a challenge, and I still, but I, yeah, I still want to give these, I still want to give the game some, some bang for their buck, if that's, if, if that's the correct usage. <laughs> I really don't think so, but hey, anyway, yeah, so pretty much, uh, I still, I still want to at least try to finish this challenge, although it's going to be hard. I think that the league is probably going to be too hard, but we'll see about that. But first, let's evolve some Pokemon because they're fucking epic anyway. And it would be a shame if I weren't. Uh, 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 it would be a shame if I weren't to evolve them. You anyway, have got Garchomp, who wants to learn Dragon Breath. Now, I'm actually kind of against Dragon Breath, but I guess that at least it's better than Sand Tomb. I mean, who the fuck would want to use Sand Tomb? I mean, it always misses, only has 85 accuracy, and it doesn't really do anything good. So I guess we can switch it up. All right. We've got a motherfucking Garchomp now. It's actually the very first Garchomp I'm playing with in, in any of my Let's Plays, and all his all of his stats got a tremendous boost. I mean, just look at the boost of the physical attack. The physical attack was like, I don't know, was like 92 when I last checked it two, uh, two seconds ago. Now it's 130. This is just fucking amazing. Now, the next one to evolve is gonna be Kevin. <laughs> Because, well, I don't know, I feel like playing with Dragon Pokemon later on in this Let's Play. Uh, by the way, Kevin learned Hyper Voice. And it's pretty darn good, as you can see. <laughs> All right, now let's take a look. His his uh, f physical attack was I don't know, was like seventy or some shit. And uh, now we've got a Spilus, which is not even its final evolution yet. But I guess it'll be better than nothing. I mean, who the fuck wants to play with a fucking Dino? Uh, trades accuracy for power, and now his physical attack also got a boost of like fifteen points. Now at least he's usable, <laughs> or so I hope. Let's quickly take a look at what he looks like in battle. I'm sorry if I'm wasting too much time on this, but then again, uh, this is pretty darn important. Yeah, it seems like he's motherfucking good. He's really good, as a matter of fact. Now, last but not least, we've got ourselves Nightdoor! Again, a Pokémon I've never played with before. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing with his final evolution. Uh, this guy learned Dark Bomb, which is actually not that great, because Nightdoor is a physical attacker, and in this generation, all Dark moves are special for some fucking reason. So, when I go for Dark Bomb, it doesn't do any fucking damage, despite it having 85 base power, or 95 or some shit. And if I go for, I don't know, Air Cutter, which is physical, it does more damage than a Stab move. That's how bad it is, and Slash is completely overpowered, so I guess I kind of don't like that, but anyway, I'm, I'm not really going to break my head about that. Now we've got a Kirizan, or whatever his uh, English name is. Yeah, Kirizan is, uh, Kirizan is uh, Japanese, I think. <laughs> Alright, so now it's a Bisharp, who wants to learn Thief, which is really not that good. And I'm not going to teach it to you, I'm very sorry. <laughs> All right, now let's take a look at this guy's stats. His stats were like, and it was like 90 physical attack, and now it's, whoa, 140. Yes, you're reading that correctly. My team got a great boost up right now. I'm loving it. <laughs> All right, just, just look at this motherfucking guy. He doesn't belong in a Pokemon game. It's like a fucking robot Mega Man or some shit like that. He, he belongs in the fucking Transformers franchise for all I care. But I'm loving it so far. <laughs> now I can pretty much wreck anything. Uh, perhaps I might actually beat the league with my current team, I don't know. But now, I guess let's fly back to the town I need to go to. Uh, the town is over here. So I'll be back in a second. Alright, I messed something up in the sidebar a couple of seconds ago, but it's alright. It's not like you give a shit. Neither do I. <laughs> it's about the game I'm playing, isn't it? All right. Uh, now I guess let's try and tackle the uh, the gym. I mean, I sure did a lot of off-screen training and stuff, so I should be able to do this. We have the leader, Jima, the fearful man of dark type. I'm ready. I am so goddamn ready. I was born ready. But first, let's buy some super potions because otherwise I'm not. <laughs> otherwise I'm not that ready, if you know what I mean. 
for the rest, I mean, you sure have enough uh, super repels. I can't even use revive, so what's the point? Uh, first, I guess let's do some exploring because, uh, well, I haven't really gotten started yet. What's this? Wow! Look at those badges! You're awesomely cool! This stone, this stone warrior can get the final badge. Do you know what it means? You can challenge the Pokemon League! Uh, yes, but I can't really challenge it yet. I, I have to obtain the badge for that. Ah, young one! Wait, wait a second, who the fuck's young? <laughs> you look fucking seven! I'm also a young one, but I mimic the styles and speech of the elderly folks of this town. What do you say, young one? Would you agree to it if I were to offer you to teach me? No, I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm only interested in Brick Break and Earthquake. Those two moves would be yeah, those two moves would be kind of good, I think. By the way, I also decided to ditch Leafian and uh, go for Garchomp instead because, well, you can't even compare the two. <laughs> you can't even begin comparing the two. People, Pokemon, their hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. Do you know what arouses me, what arouses me as well? Your tits, granny. <laughs> nah, just kidding. You should respect your elders. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awoken. I hold a coin in me hand. Now tell me, have I pawned it in the right or the left? The right. Correct. Let's try again. The right or the left? The right. Again. I think now it's going to be the left because... Logically, it's gonna be the left. Splendid! Your hidden power has awoken. Take this and awaken the hidden power of your Pokemon. That's a very odd accent for a grandmother, I'm sure of that. <laughs> I don't really need the move hidden power because it's a physical move anyway. Well, depending on lots of, uh, yeah, depending on lots of uh, variables or variables, whatever. Uh, yeah, it, it can vary, but nah, I'm not really teaching it to anyone. Ah, hey, you're, oh, Arna, you're so cool. I'll make dinner for you too one day or no. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, uh, I'm not even gonna answer to that, I'm not even gonna respond to that, uh, that was fucking weird, man, <laughs> I don't even know you and you wanna make me dinner, I'm flattered but you don't have a vagina, so no, that's not happening, <laughs> what the fuck was that guy on about, <coughs> this huge swamp, it makes our life have some troubles, and your English as well, apparently. But whatever the environment, people and Pokemon adapt to live there. There, as in, it's a place I am not currently in, but you are. Again, your English sucks, man. That's what we all do to survive. Well, what do you all do to survive? You, you, you didn't really say what you do to survive. I'm sorry, Mike, but... <laughs> what the hell are these people on about? I mean, I mean, they live in a swamp. I guess that I should have expected them being retorted. Anyway... Uh, amazing! You're telling me a Pokemon found someone's lost item? That's something. If we had some smart Pokemon like that, we could recover anything that our guests mislaid. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was too involved in watching TV. I heard that someone busted the Team Aqua hideout. Yep, you're looking at him. <laughs> He's standing right in front of you. Thanks to that, we just booked a reservation from a big group. It was a company called, uh, Game Something. Ooh, well that's intriguing. <laughs> Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your game stick. <laughs> That's a Lady Gaga reference. I'm sorry. I'm the graphic artist. Aren't the Pokemon of Hoenn interesting? Uh, we're not in Hoenn, though. But sure, <laughs> I guess they're interesting. I'm the game designer. Oh, is that right? You're working on a Pokedex. It's tough trying to complete it, but don't give up. If you, if, you do, if you do complete it, please come show me. I'm never going to complete that shit. I'm sorry. The girl tubers. They're cute, hi. Huh? The battle against the cute tuber. Are you... <laughs> Are, do you mean YouTubers? Because <laughs> you're looking at a cute YouTuber, wink wink, you fat man. And the twins, aren't they cute? The two and two, oh, man, what the fuck are these guys on about? I mean, I'm, I'm not getting anything from these guys, I think, so let's go ahead. Let's uh, ditch all the stupid stuff and fillers, and now uh, let's try and get this gym badge. It seems to be a gym with teleporters, that's a bit of a, well, that's a bit of a bummer if you ask me, but I think I can do this. Now, I'm gonna, well, since this is a dark gym, I figure that I can use two Pokemon mainly for this. Uh, I can use Balls, because he has some fighting moves up his sleeve. Brony, depending on the situation, I guess he could go for uh, an all-out close combat. Uh, Naito, because he is very uh, defensive against dark moves, because, uh, well, I mean, he's, he's a fucking Steel type, that's already uh, good against Dark, and he's another Dark type himself, so that's like a four-time resistance. And I guess uh, we can always use No Homo in, in, in all sorts of tricky situations. Even at the risk of life, I will win this battle! Uh, no, you're not. Uh, I have an evolved form of Ponyard, I'm very sorry, but 
that's how it's gonna go. Let's go for Metal Claw. <laughs> Even though it's not very effective, I don't give a shit. Does my face look like it cares? Does my Ponyard's, or no, does my Bisharp's face look, look like it cares? No, it doesn't. So you're gonna die. Uh, for fuck's sake. Actually, no, this is taking way too long. No, homo. Do this. Finish this off, please. But I guess that my plan is working. I mean, uh, uh by Sharp was not gonna die anytime soon. Cedrus, what you do, it horrifies me. Uh, why are you speaking as if you live in the fucking 17th century? <laughs> I mean, it's just me, but hey, maybe that's not a good idea. That's like inviting to be bullied. By the way, from yeah, for this, I'm gonna have a tactic. I'm from now on. I'm gonna constantly, uh, I'm gonna, gonna constantly step on the teleporter that's either directly above or below me. But it seems to not really work out that well. So perhaps if I now start doing this, I'm gonna reach new rooms eventually. Have I already battled you? Oh yes, I have. All right. Let's just keep on going. This is this can't be too hard. Or am I just? Or, or, yeah, I'm running in a circle right now. Yay! <laughs> this is fun. No, it's not. Let's, uh, well, let, let's cross over, and there's another trainer! When you lose to me, don't be too hard on yourself. It's not that you're weak, I'm just too strong. Uh, and you're a kid. You're like fucking ten years old, and you're telling me that. Well, good luck on that, mate. <laughs> you got a fucking skuntank. Oh, shit! A skuntank with flamethrower. Something's not right here, but hey. <laughs> let's switch out to no homo. I can take that fucking memento. I don't even know what it does. Wait a second, you faint? So that's it! <laughs> you just kill yourself! You decrease by stats and you blow up and you, oh, you don't even do fucking damage, you're not even blowing up. You're just killing yourself. Talk about fucking uh, emo, man. That, that's dark in, in a different sense. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a double battle unless I talk to them like this. Uh, let's go for air cutter. Oh my god! That's amazing. Collector Merrick, you've traveled the path of greatness. He was also talking about a path earlier on when I talked to him. Battles hinge, battles hinge on the strength of your spirit. The weak spirited will never win. Wow. I don't even know what the fuck that is you're wearing. Can you guys tell me down in the comments, what the hell is she trying to impersonate? Is that a costume of a Pokemon, or is that just some Lady Gaga in person? I don't even know, man. That's fucking weird. It doesn't belong in this game, that's for sure. Just like this current Pokemon I'm using doesn't belong in this game. I'm still loving it, though. <laughs> oh, man. The indices of law lose. Lose. Oh, yeah, well, I, 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 guess, I guess if she means it like that, as in the adjective... No, it's, it's no, as, as, as if she means the noun indecisive. Yes, if it's an adjective, then it should have been lost. I'm sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> And I'm a linguist, or I like to call myself a linguist. Uh, uh, what's the point in this? I mean, I have to step on this, and I can just use this teleporter. So what the hell was the point? Oh, well. Uh, let's battle you. I see it. I see your future. If you can beat me, I will tell you your future. Uh, sure, man. Go ahead. Give me your best shot. Uh, I'll go for Metal Claw, though. Ooh. I don't like that. That's not very fun. <laughs> Although your shadow balls and shit don't do any damage at all, so... Come at me, bro! I've got a fucking robot! That has, like, guns and shit. <laughs> it's pretty much your loss. There you go. Alright. Seems like all these guys, or girls also, I mean, I'm not gonna be sexist. All these trainers, they all have one single Pokémon, so that's not too hard. Hopefully the gym leader's gonna be like that as well. <laughs> watch me! Watch my Pokémon! Sometimes I'm out of sync. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. You, you sure do seem out of sync to me as well. Okay, now let's switch out to my balls. Take that odor sleuth. Because, I don't know, odor sleuths are apparently supposed to be uh, a threat. Uh, there you go. They're dead. You actually did a bit of damage, but I, I mean, I'm fine. My Pokemon bad like skills are out of sync too. Yes, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't even know what to respond to that. Did I just crush your dreams? I hope I did. <laughs> I like I, I like to crush girl uh, well uh, girls dreams as well but I also like to crush little kids dreams cuz I'm just a fucking sadist. If you guys didn't know that already then hey. <laughs> hi hi guys, I am a sadist. I like to overkill or I I, I, I like to hurt people without actually hurting them of course cuz I'm I'm not that of a, I'm not that kind of a sadist obviously. Uh, what, what the hell am I talking about? Uh, let's go for Metal Claw on Absol, and let's go for 
for Slash on Absol as well, because, I mean, I might as well kill it. Actually, it's not even dead yet. But hey, what are you gonna do? It's drum and bass. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> what the hell, man? I, I, I'm feeling very musical today. I'm very sorry about that, if that's disturbing. Well, it usually is, but I mean, I, I, well, I aim for disturbing, so then again. <laughs> I, I guess I'm being successful. Ah, you overflow with the power of youth! And they give me fucking 39,000. Wow, that's amazing. Now let's push this. Oh, so I have to open up a path like this. Now I know how to get to the, I, I know how to get to the gym leader. There you go, now I need to cross over here. And I'm in a new room as well, again. Uh, am I gonna have to uh, wind up having to go back to the Pokemon Center by the time I reach this uh, gym? Oh shit. By the time I reach this gym leader, I wouldn't like that. Let me see your talent! Uh, yeah, sure, because apparently your talent is to look like a fucking lunatic. There you go, Zorua. Suck on this. Suck on this. Suck on those chocolate salty balls with some robot on it. Because <laughs> these guys sure are, oh, my Pokemon is sure one one uh, epic motherfucker. There you go, Cronaut. It's you and me in the ring of fortune. And your owner is a little fucking bitch because he's using potions, but hey, you're dead anyway, Nate. Oh my my, your battle style is fantastic. Yes, I know. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, I have to go up here, step on this, open up a path on the red tiles. Man, this is actually quite a troublesome puzzle. I'm not, I'm not really enjoying this that much. And there you are. Now I am at the gym leaders. Should I heal up my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center? Hell no. I mean, anybody got time for that? <laughs> Nope, indeed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. Uh, let's use a PP Max on one of my Pokemon's uh, moves. I guess I could go for close combat, but then again, perhaps I should keep it. I mean, I only have one. I could go for a PP up and give that to close combat. Yeah, that might be a better, uh, yeah, that might be a better idea. Uh, you're going to boost up close combat, obviously, because it's like the best move you have. For the rest, Soft Sand increases the power of Ground type moves. I may as well give it. Uh, focus band prevents fainting occasionally. Not really that. Yeah, not really reliable or anything. So yeah, do I have any ethers? Yes, I ha I do. That's amazing. Uh, now I can uh, heal up the uh, metal claws for a bit. I'm gonna use two. There you go. And let's do this. Am I ready? Watch the break and find out in a second. Now, just kidding. Let's let's just well, let's just move on with this. Uh, I'm gonna put my good old Naito up front, hopefully you agree with that, and let's do this. Welcome! Some trainers manage to come and challenge me, but they often lose. I think you will not be an exception. I'm Gima, the toughest gym leader of Hoenn. Beware for the fear of my dark Pokemon. Are you a girl or not? I oh, know you're a guy. A very weird looking guy at that, but you're a guy nonetheless. Uh, I can still beat you, I think. He goes for Swords Dance, I'm gonna have to pay attention, but you're gonna die. Shit, I'm also running out of slashes, that's not very- <laughs> Just die already. <laughs> Would you die already, you son of a bitch? Metal Claw. I know he has Earthquake, I know that's gonna kill Knight though. And I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I don't really give a shit though. Uh, well, actually I do, but I mean... I can, I can still probably win. I know, I know that it's a shame that I'm already losing one of my best Pokemon, but I don't really give a shit. Uh, I mean, this series is gonna, is gonna have to end at some point, and I guess, I guess it was fun playing with this Pokemon for the time being, but I'm ready to move on and use a different Pokemon. I mean, I've still got another dark Pokemon that I could use. Uh, I'm talking about the other dragon Pokemon. Now, anyway, that's besides the point. I've got Zoroark. I can, I'm actually gonna try and use Brony for this. I mean, it's a Zoroark, but hopefully I'm faster. I'm not. Oh my god, I'm dead! No! That just sucks, man! Oh, man! I'm losing two Pokemon. Well, was that a bad play on my part? I guess arguably it could be, but shit, man, that wasn't very fun. <laughs> that hurts. I mean, I mean, I was okay with losing one Pokemon, but two? That's a little too much for me, if you ask me. Anyway, it seems like Azula is not doing a single bit of damage, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna have to switch out. We're gonna have to go to balls and go for an all-out dynamic punch. 
Yes, it confuses the shit out of you, that's great. Uh, well, can I do anything else? Can I go for low kick? Oh shit, it barely, it barely even does any damage. So he's gonna play it like that, isn't he? <laughs> this sucks, man. Where is my fucking, uh, wait, where is my fucking, uh, fighting Pokemon when I need him? <laughs> my close combat. He's already fully healed up as well. Oh shit. I actually, ne I actually nearly accidentally uh, put myself to sleep. No! I'm, I'm missing the surfs. How can I miss a surf? It's like a fucking flood wave that floods the entire fucking room. How can I miss? That's something I'm wondering. No! Would you die? Yeah, obviously I'm... I'm <laughs> No! It doesn't work like that, no homo. You're not supposed to miss all the time. <sighs> Let's heal up my no homo. Because I'm actually taking a bit of a hit from that. And this is gonna take one long ass time, that is for sure. Why the fuck could I- how the fuck could I possibly miss on a surf? Yes! You're dead! Alright, I got the gym badge. Uh, I did lose two Pokemon, that's a bit of a shame, but... Well, uh, well... I guess, arguably, one Pokemon, the Fighting Psychic, the Galade, wasn't even that good, to be honest. He was actually kind of a letdown throughout the entire Let's Play. Uh, however, I was really looking forward to uh, tackling the League with my uh, Bisharp. I, I guess I done goofed up a little on that part because he was going to go for Earthquake. I thought that maybe my uh, maybe my my uh, well my Steel move was going to kill him because it's super effective, but apparently it doesn't. You guys are tough. I didn't lose a long time, or in a long time, he means. You made me feel elated! Now I'm full of pride to give you the final badge. And he gives me 10k, which which makes up for a bit of the fact that uh, you killed some of my Pokemon. Having the fear badge shall assure you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to every command. You can now use Waterfall outside of battle and so that you never forget the battle we share, take this, TM41, the worst move possibly imaginable, Dark Bomb. If you're wondering, Arno, why is it so bad? It's bad because it's a fucking, uh, it's a fucking special attack and most dark Pokemon are physical attackers, so yes, it's kind of bad! It really is, as a matter of fact. <laughs> now let's heal up my Pokemon, and give a proper funeral to, well, to my two, uh, long-time brothers, Bisharp Naito. Uh, well, I caught you a couple of episodes ago. Actually, I caught you a lot of episodes ago. It was, it's been a long time since I caught you. I'm never going to forget you. You were a great Pokemon. I'm definitely going to play with you again in some future Let's Play. Gallade, you were a big letdown for the sole fact that you don't learn a single good fighting move, and the fighting move that you do learn, that's somewhat usable, does like half of your HP recoil whenever you use it. So no, I guess I'm kind of glad that you're dead. I'm sorry, but I am. Uh, now, I lost a Steel Pokemon, and I lost a Fighting slash Psychic Pokemon. I th well, since I'm already using my, my rock Pokemon, perhaps I should not use him now. Uh, I'm talking about Pupitor. Uh, I mean, I would just have too much of a weakness against, uh, against ice, and against fighting, and against water, and against grass, and all sorts of other things. So no, I'm not going to use you for the time being. I'm going to pull back Leafeon. And I'm gonna start using a fire Pokemon. How do you feel about that? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna train up Victini. Hopefully that's gonna go according to plan. Now, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Uh, we're going to try and tackle the League. Well, but first I'm gonna have to get through Victory Road. Uh, OP vagina word. <laughs> may you, I don't know, may you serve me well. That's all I can say. What is his moveset? Quick attack, headbutt, reversal, and flame of rage. I guess I'm fine with that. This guy, this, this guy also ha also still has to learn a good, uh, yeah, a good move, because his only uh, grass move is a special move, so that's not too good. Anyway, I'm gonna be back in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye. By the way, the next po- oh yeah, shit, I, can't, I completely forgot about that. By the way, the next Pokemon type you guys can vote for is Dark. Which Dark type Pokemon would you vote for? I'll quickly whip out the list for you guys. Damn, I had almost forgotten about it. Alright, there aren't really that many Pokemon to choose from. We've got Larvitar, Pupitar, Tyranitar, I've already got Pupitar, Geodude, Graveler, wait, wait, no, that's Rock. What the hell am I talking about? Here is the Dark type. Still not too many choices. Let's go over them. Tyranitar, Sandile, Crocorock, Crocodile, Scraggy, Scrafty, Ponyard, Bisharp, Murkrow, Honchkrow, Sneasel, Weavile, Crawdont, Carvana, Sharpedo, Drapion, Dino, Sphilus, Hydrogen, Absol, Spiritomb, Stanky, Skuntank, Zorua, Zoroark, Umbreon, Murkrow, Houndor, and Houndoom. Now if you're wondering, Oh no, you haven't caught any Pokemon yet. By the way, I want to suck your cock. Uh, no, just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to catch him right now. The Pokemon that won last episode's voting was Drapion. So I'll be back in a second again. 
Alright, now let's catch a Pokemon at one last episode's voting. Uh, it's a poison Pokemon. Which Pokemon should I put up front? I have no freaking idea. However, I can probably survive if I send out... Well, since it's a poison Pokemon, I may as well send out my Cruelius. Hopefully he's not gonna overkill him or some shit like that. And what? It's not a Drapion! Yes! I lied! Actually, I was just mistaken. <laughs> Drapion didn't win last episode. Didn't win last episode's voting. It was Gengar, and it's a female one at that, which is not that great for me because I like the color blue. But hey, at least I got a paralysis. Uh, do I have enough Pokeballs to catch this guy? Well, I do still have my Master Ball. I mean, I would have voted for a legendary Pokemon if I could. Uh, by the way, for the dark Pokemon, if you're wondering who would I vote for, it's a bit of a tough choice actually. Uh, I guess I could go for a legendary Pokemon, so I would have to say dark. Well, Darkrai. Uh, if Darkrai. If in there, it's gonna be Darkrai. If he's not, then I'm gonna go for Zoroark. Uh, I well, I hope that you agree with this. Uh, okay, so now let's uh, at least go onwards. Uh, Ultra Balls. Let's throw them. I don't think Nest Balls are- Oh, look at that! I can actually catch him in one fucking Pokeball. That's amazing. Shadow Pokemon. Deep in the night, your shadow cast by a streetlight may suddenly overtake you. It is actually a Gengar running past you, pretending to be your shadow. That's amazing. And I feel very, very unoriginal and, I don't know, horny, I guess. I'm gonna go for Deep Throat. <laughs> you are gonna be called Deep Throat for the rest of your life. And no, it's not because you're female, but now, now that I think about it, it kind of fits. Because mostly females do Deep Throating, so there you go, Deep Throat. You swallow that soul real good. <laughs> That's fucking fucked up, man. All right, deep throat. I've got. I've now. I've now literally reached the lowest part. I am uh, the, the lowest level I can possibly reach. I I call my Pokemon Deep Throat. Yes. Now let's take a look. His special attack is fucking amazing. He knows Nightshade, Shadow Punch, Confuse Ray, and Dream Eater. No Shadow Ball, unfortunately, and I do not think that he's gonna learn that at any point uh, of the game. So yes, I'm fucked. I've got a semi-usable uh, Gengar. However, I guess I can quickly take a look. Can he learn, uh, well, can he learn Thunderbolt? Let's quickly take a look. Perhaps I would use him rather than Victini. I don't know, it's a bit of a tough, it's a bit of a tough choice. Let's uh, quickly take a look. Can he learn any good moves? Thunderbolt, for example. Oh, he can learn that shit. Yes, I'm keeping Gengar. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, let's get rid of Nightshade, because, I mean, Shadow Punch is at least a little bit better than Nightshade. Then, can you learn? What else could you possibly learn? Dark Bomb? Well, it's a physical move. No, it's a special move. Yes, I can teach that to you. I, no, I can't even teach. Oh, man, that's a bummer. <laughs> I don't think I can teach you Surf. I don't think I can teach you Rock Smash or Fly or anything like that. Can I teach you Iceberg at least? Oh, yes, I actually can. Well, it seems like you do have some... Uh, you'd have, yeah, you do have somewhat of a versatile moveset now. Uh, which, well, what should I get rid of now? Fuck. We've got Shadow Punch, never misses, but it doesn't do much damage at all, unless Ghost Moves are always special attacks, which I think they actually are, so perhaps I should keep Shadow Punch. Then we've got Dream Eater. I can't really put things to sleep, though. That's a bit of a, that's a, bit of a bummer. Uh, if I could, I would have taught him, I don't know, like Hypnosis or some shit like that, but it seems like that's not happening anytime soon. So I don't know, I'll, I'll just keep it at that. If you have any tips on me on what I should do with Gengar uh, off screen or some shit like that, then be sure to leave a comment. Uh, thank you guys for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed it, I made a lot of big mistakes though. Uh, I, guess, I guess that's just who I am. Sometimes I just hurry up too much and now I'm on, I, I've honestly reached the point where I don't really give a shit uh, if a Pokemon dies. Uh, frankly, I just want to move on. <laughs> I've got some big announcements coming up and stuff. Uh, you possibly already know of it if you uh, took a look at my previous couple of videos around the 2DS. Yeah, it's going to be about that, obviously. So yeah, I'll be back in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you then.